everyone welcome you back in my geography class i hope all of you are doing well today we are going to start with a very important topic from the chapter interior of the earth for class 11 so what is the topic that we are going to read we are going to know about the types of earthquake Already in the earlier videos, we have discussed about the earthquake, what is earthquake, what are the causes of earthquake, what are seismic waves, how the seismic waves cause earthquake, what are the characteristics of different seismic waves. We also came to know about the shadow zone, what are shadow zone, what are the shadow zones of P waves and S waves. And today we will know about the types of earthquake. I hope all of you remember the definition of earthquake. What is earthquake? Earthquake is defined as the sudden release of energy or stress along a fault. There are different types of earthquake that we will study today. So let's get started and know about the types of earthquakes. Now let us know about the first type of earthquake, the tectonic earthquake. From the word tectonic, you can well understand that this earthquake is related to the movement of the tectonic plates. We know that the tectonic plates are constantly moving but at a slower rate. Due to the movement of the tectonic plates, we know that some pressure is created in the earth's crust. And due to this pressure, there will be sliding of rocks along the fault which will release some energy in the form of the earthquake waves or the seismic waves. Now, what do you mean by fault? I hope all of you remember what is a fault, a sharp break or fracture in the earth's crust. Now, let us take an example of these two pens. Just think this as two blocks of rock or you can imagine this as two plates. Now, what will happen when the two blocks of rocks or the plates will rub against each other? When they will rub against each other, they will stick a little. So, there will be a friction which will be created. Now, we know that along the faults, the rocks, have a tendency to move in an opposite direction. Now what happens, the overlying rock strata, they will press them and the movement of the tectonic plates will create a pressure that is a friction and due to the friction they will get locked. But the plates have a tendency to move apart. That means the plates or the two blocks of rocks, they have a tendency to move apart. So as they want to move apart, what will happen at a, after some point of time, they will overcome the friction. As they will overcome the friction, here along this fault line, we can say that there will be a sudden or abrupt sliding of rocks. And this abrupt side sliding of rocks will release energy in the form of the earthquake waves. This type of earthquake is referred as the tectonic earthquake. Now let us know about the next type of earthquake that is the volcanic earthquake. Number two, the volcanic earthquake volcanic earthquake is a special type of tectonic earthquake and this earthquake are confined in areas of active volcano now what happens in volcanic tectonic earthquake? And these are the earthquakes which are mostly related with the tectonic activity. Due to tectonic activity, when the volcanic eruption occurs, this type of earthquake mainly occurs. Now what happens?
mantle the magma rises up due to the convection current so we can say that the magma makes through the crust to the surface of the earth now when they make through the crust to the surface of the earth they comes in contact with the surrounding rocks and they breaks apart the surrounding rocks and generates the volcanic earth quick so what is a volcanic earthquake it is a special type of tectonic earthquake which are confined to those areas of active volcano for example in the year 2002 in kotopaxi a volcanic earthquake occurred now let us know about the next type of earthquake that is the collapse earthquake of earthquake is collapse earthquake now collapse earthquake is associated with intense mining activities so in those areas where intense mining activities takes place there we can say that collapse earthquake occurs what happens sometimes due to intense mining activities roof of the underground mines collapse and this causes minor tremors mainly this earthquake occurs in small towns where underground mining activity takes place so the collapse earthquake is related to the intense mining activities sometimes roof of the underground mines collapse which create minor tremors mainly this occur in the small towns uh, where underground mining activity takes place now let us move ahead with the next type of earthquake that is the explosion earthquake explosion earthquake is related to the nuclear explosions so the explosion earthquake occurs due to explosion of chemical or nuclear devices this earthquake also occur as an after shock sequence the largest explosion earthquake which occur due to the nuclear explosion is five megaton test which occurred on november 6 1971 with a richter scale of 6.9 so nuclear explosions lead to explosion earthquakes it can also be caused as an after shock sequence now let us move ahead with the last type of earthquake that is reservoir induced earthquake we will see that reservoirs or dams are created in the areas of active earthquake so what will happen in the areas of active earthquake where the dams are created we know that there is active erosion that is occurring in the dams so due to active erosion we will see that a thirst fault is created and when there is a fault we know that earthquake may occur so due to the fault earthquake occur also the earthquake occurs in the areas of large reservoir why because there is 
a change in stress because of weight of water and also we will see that there is increase groundwater pore pressure which decreasing the strength of the rocks in the reservoir and thus this are creating reservoir induced earthquake so reservoir induced earthquake can be referred as the earthquake which are caused by the large reservoirs or dams the most dangerous reservoir induced earthquake that was occurred was the Quena Dam reservoir induced earthquake which killed 180 people as the magnitude of this earthquake was around 6.5 so it was the largest reservoir induced earthquake that has occurred in india so reservoir induced earthquake mainly caused by the large reservoirs or dams as i said that dams are created in the areas of active earthquakes which leads to creation of the fault and also due to the change in stress because of weight of water and increase in groundwater pore pressure which decrease the strength of the rock in the reservoir it leads to earthquake so these are the types of earthquake i hope all of you understood what we have learned in today's video we have discussed about the five types of earthquake in details now what you will do you will read your book you will read in between the line and also will follow the pdf that has been already provided in the description box if you have any problem or any suggestion do comment in the comment box given below if you like my video do share it with your friends and don't forget to hit the like button do subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed yet and if you want to watch more videos related to different topics do hit the bell icon for further notifications of my upcoming videos. Stay tuned. I will be back soon with the next video on the topic of effects of earthquake and how to measure earthquake. Till then, stay at your home and stay safe. Thank you.